Here comes Pickle. She's an absolutely stunning boat. I like the name, actually. It's what my, my mother used to call me when I was little, and we still call our boy that sometimes. Anyway, that aside, she's she's absolutely beautiful, this boat. She's only four years old, 2020, 62 feet, reverse layout, semi-trad, built on a Jonathan Wilson hull, fitted out by Norton Keynes and Darren Aldridge. She's in immaculate condition. She's just been blacked, February 2024. Four anodes on her. They were fine at the black time of blacking. The pram cover, that was brand new in uh, 2023. Two gas bottles in that forward locker there. The well depth, by the way, is four feet, four inches. Now, so solar power, there's 740 watts of solar to the domestic batteries and 200 watts of solar to the start on the bow thruster battery. So it's very neatly configured and practically arranged. Really good head height in this pram cover. The paintwork's in lovely condition. Can't wait to get you inside, actually. She's absolutely beautiful. So here we go. The uh, semi truck cockpit is four feet two inches long. Padded seats either side on top of storage lockers. Quite a lot of room in there. And there's one on the other side as well. We'll have a look at the engine in a bit. That's a windscreen zips up and rolls up, so you can have the pram hood up if it's raining and still see out the front. Right, reverse layouts are into the galley, which is 10 feet 9 inches long. Really beautiful in here. Corian worktops. Head height on the boat is 6 foot 5, so that's pretty generous. So wood laminate floor throughout the boat. All the lights are LED. And there's a lot of storage on board. Good thick solid wood you can see on the doors there. Lovely worktops. Decent sized cupboard in here with the uh, carousel that pulls out. A bank of four drawers of varying depths, heights, I don't know what you call it actually. Three burner gas hob, a CDA oven and grill. It's a Thetford hob. There's the Commodore having a ferret. The fridge is a 12 volt Russell Hobbs fridge. There is a separate freezer on board. We'll have a look at that in a bit. And then here's a decent sized cupboard. And here's the pulley outy cupboardy thing. Really useful, those are. And then here's a bit of a hanging wardrobe, I suppose, coats and things for outside. Storage under the steps. And in here is the electricery. It's a three kilowatt Victron inverter charger. All the isolation switches. There is a galvanic isolator on board. The landline hookup point. That's on the roof inside the pigeon box if you come and see the boat and struggle to find it. Stainless steel sink with lots of storage underneath. And here's the washing machine. It's a Bloomberg 6 kilo full size machine. That does actually run off the inverter if the engine's running. So everything you need in here, really stylish radiators. And the dinette's next. This turns into a spare double berth. There's a side hatch opposite it with clear in a glazed inner doors. Here's the freezer. That's on runners and it just rolls out. It's a 12 volt freezer, shoreline. Storage under these benches. And this dinette, actually, the back of it, this, this bench, is reversible. So if you want to sit facing the sitting room or the saloon, you can just take the back out, whip it to the other side. and It won't quite work with a sofa this size, because the sofa's huge. But if you had a couple of armchairs, you could have another couple of people in the sitting room. This is a sofa bed, three-seater, storage underneath. Television's opposite. It's a 32-inch, 240-volt Samsung. Bit of storage in there, shelves either side. I love this boat. It's a Lockgate diesel, uh, Lockgate reflex diesel stove with a cabinet next to it. There's a separate 100 litre fuel tank for the um, lovely radiators for the diesel stove. Heated towel rail in the walkthrough bathroom. Corian worktop well, surfaces again. It's a really stylish ceramic sink there. A bit like a posh hotel bathroom, this one. 
storage underneath. The Lewis of Thetford cassette. That was new in November 2023. It's got four cassettes on board. And the shower's a really decent size. It's one of these quadrant showers, vinyl lined. And in between the shower and the cabin sides, more storage. I suppose a bit of a linen cupboard. The saloon, by the way, is 10 feet 8 and the bathroom is not, uh, 5 foot 10. The bedroom's in the forward cabin. The double bed measures 6 foot 4 long and 5 feet wide when it's extended. Super comfy mattress. Lots of storage over the bed. A couple of reading lights under these cupboards. Another one here. Really solidly built everything on this boat. There's another television in here. It's a 24 inch Toshiba. There's also a Max View aerial, a Huawei Wi Fi router, and a Ponting Wi Fi aerial on the boat. That's a bit of a hanging wardrobe at the bottom and shelves above it on the starboard side. Another cupboard there. The bedroom, I can't remember if I said, 10 feet 5 inches long. The well deck's lovely. Padded seats either side with storage lockers underneath. There's a glazed cratch board. Storage under here, which is quite useful. And there's the bow thruster guts. It's a 75 kgf Vitas, that bow thruster. Glazed front doors. And they have blackout blinds, those windows on the front doors that just slide down. The water tank's plastic. It's a food grade plastic tank, 680 litres. There is a water gauge with that. Central heating is a Wabasto diesel fired central heating system. Four radiators and a towel rail on the 55 litre chlorophyll is heated by the engine. The Wabasto, there's also an immersion heater on board. Six 110 hour amp hour domestic batteries, brand new last year. One starter battery and one bow thruster battery. Really lovely. Love it, love it, love it. There's an anchor on board, all the other bits and pieces that you need to navigate. Out on the back deck. The engine's in here, it's a Beta 43. There's only 488 hours on the engine. PRM 150 gearbox. There's your bank of batteries, or domestics and a starter anyway. There's the hot water tank. I didn't mention either, the, uh, all the windows are double glazed. And the fit out is American light oak. It's also got one of these unsinkable weed hatches. So there we go, Pickle, stunning boat. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.